Hey everyone, how you guys doing? I'm Erica, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to SEO your blog post for search engines. Now, this is uh, going to be useful for existing posts as well, so you want to stay tuned till the end of this video. Let's get started. The first thing you want to have on hand and ready is the Yoast SEO plugin. This is very, very important. You want to go ahead and install it, it's free. And the next thing you want to have is the Keywords Everywhere tool that you can install to your toolbar. You can get this by searching on Google and once you install it, you want to switch it on. Make sure that you switch it on. Next, we want to go to Pinterest and we want to search for the keywords that we're going to be creating content for. Now, for this blog post, I'm going to search for health benefits of colored greens okay so you know that people are searching for this particular uh, term on Pinterest because as you begin to search you're gonna see um, relative keywords that people are searching for okay before you even end your phrase Pinterest is going to tell you that yes, this search is being searched for on Pinterest and this is what you want. So health benefits of collard greens, those are my keywords. Next, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search, put in this, uh, the exact uh, key phrase that I used on Pinterest. What I want to look for is uh, our keywords with very low competition and this is where this plugin comes in because it tells you exactly the amount of competition this particular keyword has in the monthly search volume. Now on the side of this, Keywords Everywhere also gives you a list of related keywords that people are searching for and the amount of search volume. Now for each of your posts, you want to add um, other keywords that people are searching for within your H3 tags to be able to rank higher on Google because if you are if you have relative uh, related keywords like okay the list of color greens color green versus kale these are other search terms that people search for when they search for the health benefits of color greens now if you have a blog post explaining in detail um, about these other keywords with your focus keywords you're going to rank higher on google but you want to make sure that you have a low competition keyword if you have a new blog and your your da and pa score are not high enough so that's your domain score and your page score because google calculates that uh the scores of your website to rank you higher in the search engines next you want to add a little string called all in title now once you select your related keywords you want to go ahead and and add this little string called all in title and you want to see how many search results pop up for your term so health benefits of collard greens let me go ahead and see how many Just type that, hit the search box. Okay, now once in a while you're gonna get this and all you gotta do is you just click, I'm not a robot. And uh, Google is gonna allow you to finish your search all in title. And you just go ahead and click uh, put enter. Now, as you can see here, this is a uh, competitive keywords. You have 248 results and we do not want that. We want results anywhere below 10 to be able to rank on Google. So like this one, benefits of collard green juice. It has eight results on Google and with a good DA and PH, uh, PA score, you're going to be able to rank on the first page. So let me remove that to see the monthly search volume and um, the competition as well so this has 90 uh, monthly search and the competition is 0 0.7 that's still high but the results are 
exactly what you want to be looking for so you can go ahead and create a post about using these keywords and you're going to be able to rank higher now let's go back to the post itself how do i optimize my blog post i just want to make sure the first thing i do is make sure that my keywords are in my h1 tag this is the h1 tag which is the title of your blog post next you want to edit your link and add only the keywords that you are targeting in the link of the blog post now here we have 14 powerful health benefits of collard greens here i don't have 14 powerful it's just health benefits of collard greens and you go ahead and click ok the second spot you want to have your keywords are in the first paragraph of your blog post here it is health benefits of collard greens and you want to make it look as natural and readable as possible and make sure never to add links in the first paragraph of your blog post next you want to add an h2 tag with your keywords so i add exact match keywords as my h2 tag and to make this an h2 tag you just go ahead and click on this little box here select your keywords first and then you go and you select your h2 tag next i add a paragraph under my h2 tag and then i go ahead and add extra keywords that i pulled off of google using the exact uh, format that i showed you guys uh, a little uh, before so nutritional facts of collard greens that is also a keyword and i made this into an h3 tag once you select it you want to make it into an h3 tag so the h2 tag is your topic this is your focus keywords and your h3 tags are subtopics of whatever it is you're talking about these are going to help you rank on google as well so side effects of collard greens this is also a keyword that people search for on google and facts about collard greens these are keywords that people search for as well so I make sure to have, and these are H3 tags, I never use H4 or H5 tags. I only use H1, H2, and H3 tags in my blog post. Last but not least, I also make sure to add my exact keywords at the end in the last paragraph of my blog post. So if you see, I have my keywords here in the H1 tag, in my first paragraph, in my H2 tag, and in the last paragraph of my blog post. I do not do a lot of keyword search, uh, uh, stuffing because that uh, looks like spam in Google's eyes. Next, where you wanna add your keywords are actually in your description, your meta description. This is very important because it helps you rank on Google. You need to add your keywords at the beginning of your description. Okay, so these are everything you need to be able to rank on Google and in Pinterest. Now, before you finish off, you want to add your post to the right category. So I have it in health and nutrition. nutrition. And next, whatever tags that you use within your blog post, your H1, and H2, and H3 tags, you want to add them as tags. Like here I have color green benefits. I have color green facts, color green uh, side effects, and health benefits of color greens. These are the four tags, and you do not want to do a lot of tag stuffing as well. That's going to look spammy in Google's eyes as well. You always want to make sure to add uh, links that are linking to other posts on your blog. Like if you go ahead and, and you want to make them look as natural as possible. So if you have a post about losing weight and you wrote something in here like a diet plan to lose weight, so you're going to select the lose weight and you're going to link it to your blog post, to an existing blog post. And you also want to link out. You also want to make sure that you link out to other websites so that Google knows that you are uh, a reliable source, you're linking out, you're interlinking, you have other sub uh, keywords that people are searching for relevant to your focus keywords, and you have your keywords in your meta tags in the, in the first paragraph, in your H2 tags, H3 tags, and that is all you need to do. 
you know these seo gurus they overcomplicate stuff and they, they make uh you know seo sound very scary that most people they don't they 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 don't know how to do it but this is as easy as it can get this is all you need to do you always want to try to get these scores your you want to have the green on your readability and your seo score but orange isn't so bad you can have orange here and you want to have green just make sure to be as natural as possible add your right tags you know where you need to add them use related uh keywords that you find from google in your post and you are good to go so what if you have a post that you have an existing post that you want to go back in and you want to do some seo on the only advice I can give to you, if you already have a post that is all around the internet and people are already visiting your blog, you'd never want to change the link of that post. Just make sure that whatever you do after you're finished uh, editing out your existing post, you want to make sure that your link remains the same because or else people won't be able to access your post if they come back and try to visit your your blog that's all you have to do edit everything you can within the post itself but leave the links as they are or else you're going to mess up your whole post so i hope this video was helpful for you guys and if you have any tips or questions leave them down below and help others so thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome